Oh, so this video is about Godwinson. I am disappointed in the British little shit, the limey fuck. Yeah, because he was supposed to do a video about me, you know? And I, I like to watch videos about myself because, you know, because I'm so sexy. <laughs> yes, my double chin and my paunch make me irresistible, and even to myself. And that's why I love watching videos of myself. And I'm just waiting for Godwinson to do a video about me. But, you know, what does he do? He puts out a, a video that was kind of like weird and disjointed and uh, and then, you know, closes up his channel once again and just like disappears from the scene once again. Now, I'm going to do a video that I didn't really want to do. I, is, is, you know, it's, it's basically because I kind of like Godwin's son. I certainly understand him. I certainly understand him because I know what he is, who he is. Yeah. Yeah, he keeps saying that his channel gets deleted. Bullshit. He deletes his own channels, right? Because he's basically a chicken shit. See, because he is an upper class kid with all the breaks. He's got brains. He's a good looking kid. Uh, he's probably got social connections, probably family or schooling or a combination thereof. And he could get any position he wants in society, he could pretty much aspire to any position in society, anywhere from prime minister to Nobel laureate in whatever science or whatever. The guy's got it all. He's got the world on a string. You know, the world is his oyster. But see, he lacks one thing. And this is the key issue. And that's why I know that Godwinson is never going to amount to much. Godwinson has no balls. He doesn't have the courage to make a decision. See, because he's intensely attracted to this whole vibe of, um, of, of the internet subculture, the internet blood sports and all this shit. He's intensely attracted to it, yeah? And he could be a presence in it. But see, he doesn't dare have a channel permanently because Inevitably, there would be troughs. There would be peaks and there would be troughs. And so people know him, but whenever he's there for a while, he runs away out of fear. Out of fear that he's not going to be successful. See? Because he sort of like is paralyzed by all this promise that he has. He has all of these options, but he's, he's sort of like caught up in, in the opportunity, uh, opportunity cost issue. In the, in the fact that when you make one decision and when you take one path, you inevitably, and of necessity, close off the other paths. And so Godwinson wants to maintain all paths open indefinitely. He doesn't have the balls to be an adult and simply make up his mind and go in one direction. He's at the, at the fork in the road, dithering, the hamlet of the fork of the road. You see what I'm saying? He can't make up his mind. He can't make up his mind because he's scared. Because he's a little chicken shit. Hey, I don't begrudge him. I knew guys like that, right? I knew guys like that who had like everything at their feet and yet they never amounted to anything. And that's the tragedy. See? On that promise, but a lack of courage, so they stayed there at the fork in the road and never amounted to anything. The other thing too is that he needs, he needs intensely to be at the center of things, to, to, to be in the know. He so needs that. He so needs to be in the know, to be perceived by others that he knows. It was really fucking funny. One time I heard him speak, right? And uh, the conversation turned to me and how I'd appeared on RTTV a few times. Now, I appeared on, on Russia Today uh, talking about economics as, as a favor to a producer friend, right? Um, and, uh, and I thought it would be funny and, you know, so why not? I, appear, I appeared a few times, I don't know, maybe a half dozen times, something like that. And, uh, you know, just a talking head. And Godwinson claimed that he had seen me. <laughs> That's absurd. 
Okay, Russia Today is an obscure channel. And Russia Today has hundreds of talking heads about all kinds of issues. And I was on Russia Today back in 2012. How on earth could Godwinson claim that he had seen me on Russia Today six fucking years ago and remember me? That's absurd. That's absurd, but it points to Godwinson. He needs to be perceived that he's in the know. He needs to be in the know, or at least pretend that he's in the know. And that points to weakness. I like Godwinson. I've never interacted with the son of a bitch. I wouldn't mind. He's a, probably an interesting kid, but he's a boy. He's a child. He'll never be a man. Not the way he's going. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the balls to step on the scene and, and make a place for himself. He, he wants to sort of like slide in by, by charm alone. But he doesn't have like the, the, the balls to just like uh, uh, stick the elbows into the other motherfuckers and get in there. Yeah. And take his place. He's never had to fight for anything, so he doesn't know what it is to take what you want. And this message is for Godwinson. And I know you're listening to this and watching it. Yeah. With your little stupid things of, ooh, true nectar and kino and shit like that. But I know you. I know you so well. I know you better than yourself. You will never amount to anything if you continue on this path. Be a man and make up your mind. If you're going to get in the ring, get in the ring. But don't be a little faggot bitch and sort of like, uh, 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 am I in? Am I out? I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm Godwin, son. I'm a faggot. I'm a faggot who can't make up his fucking mind. Make up your fucking mind, boy. Or get the fuck out of my sight.